Good morning, everyone. Have an amona. Good morning, too. So my name is Daryl Peter. I am the director for Investor Servicing and Promotion Division. I'm presenting on behalf of uh, Mr. Clarence Hood, who is my managing director. Unfortunately, he's not here because of uh, medical reasons. I know that the Prime Minister has left, but I want to acknowledge the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape, the Minister for International Trade and Investment, Honorable Richard Maru, and other state ministers, the President of the World uh, Indigenous Business Forum, Indigenous uh, Institute of Develop uh, sorry, in Indigenous Leadership in uh, Development Institute, Excellencies from uh, Diplomatic Corps, CEOs of uh, businesses, including SMEs, sponsors, heads of government agencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to uh, I present at this uh, prestigious event uh, of the World <coughs> Indigenous Business Forum. I've been uh, working with the Investment Promotion Authority for 23 years, and I am an Indigenous uh, Motue. So I, I am grateful that uh, I've been given this honor to present. And I'm, I'm already uh, inspired by the speeches of uh, the Prime Minister and the Minister for International Trade. <coughs> I think one of the, uh, my presentation will cover is to aspire. I think that's a key word that has been added onto uh, the theme of this uh, forum. So I will, uh, those of you who have already uh, have a hint of being aspiring to do business in Papua New Guinea, I hope my presentation will uh, uh, hone that in and uh, uh, make you uh, decide to do business in Papua New Guinea. So basically, I will uh, talk about uh, what the Investment Promotion Authority does and the registration of businesses in Papua New Guinea. Uh, what, is, uh, what do we do to help uh, businesses do business in Papua New Guinea? And I'll give you a, a glimpse of what the trends are like and then to conclude. So uh, we are, we are an, a statutory agency under the Ministry of uh, Commerce and Industry. Uh, we have a board that reports to the Minister for Commerce and Industry and the Managing Director uh, basically runs the day-to-day -day operations of the Investment Promotion Authority. So you will note that our board is, uh, provides advice to the Minister on policy matters and provides the strategic direction to IPA. Our board is uh, made up of uh, mostly the private sector. Uh, and a uh, couple of uh, statutory uh, government uh, agencies. So, who, who is IPA? And what is the investment regime in Papua New Guinea? The Investment Promotion Authority is the promotions agency of uh, the government. It is established through le legislation. We are a government agency that creates awareness of the current investment opportunities in the country, which I am grateful to the minister who basically elaborated uh, eloquently uh, during the presentation. So we do a promotion and facilitation of investment in Papua New Guinea and provide aftercare services. So we have, uh, on the one end, we do promotion and facilitation and do aftercare, and on the other end, we do the uh, registration, regulation, and compliance. So, the government's uh, focus has already been given uh, in terms of uh, promoting uh, investment in uh, Papua New Guinea. So, we, we provide uh, registry services for uh, limited companies, business names, business groups, and associations. In addition to that, we also provide a registry for the intellectual property office. So we talk about patents, trademarks, copyrights, and industrial designs. Uh, also come under the intellectual property office of Papua New Guinea, which is administratively within the IPA. So for well indi indigenous uh, you know, uh, patents or trademarks, uh, you can come and uh, see us for uh, uh, registering your, your property. 
We also do the personal property security registry, which is useful for uh, uh, SMEs or companies who want to uh, register their pro personal property uh, to take uh, uh, up uh, loans or when you're looking for uh, startups, uh, your personal property will be used uh, as a collateral and we have a registry for that as well. So, basically, uh, the Minister uh, for International Trade and Investment uh, has shown the opportunities and what you can do uh, in terms of uh, entering uh, Papua New Guinea to do business. At the IPA, we assist. We provide that support. We will uh, assist you to uh, gain entry into Papua New Guinea by uh, sending out uh, invitations for you to come and do, uh, explore uh, and apply for a visa, a business visa. Uh, if you are already convinced and you want to do registration in Papua New Guinea, uh, after you incorporate a company or business name, uh, then uh, for um, non-citizens, uh, particularly who control uh, or manage an entity will be required to uh, undergo what is called a foreign enterprise certification process. Uh, so we issued a foreign certificate. And uh, after all of this, uh, the foreign certificate will come with some conditions where you will go and apply for uh, uh, certain uh, uh, sectoral uh, permits, uh, including work permit, or for uh, internal revenue uh, uh, tax identification numbers, uh, you will have to get the IPA uh, certificate first before you apply for uh, this. So that's well, our assistance in getting you to enter Papua New Guinea. We also do sectoral and uh, provincial uh, selection for, for you and uh, give you some uh, guidance. So those sectoral permits, uh, if you are in a, in a, in a province, you have a municipal uh, uh, permits to apply for. Or if there are resource permits that you need to apply for, uh, we will also uh, provide you that uh, information. We also provide information on uh, land and building and construction uh, in terms of uh, getting you to apply for the appropriate titles or construction permits or utilities uh, within the uh, province. Uh, in terms of uh, compliance, support and uh, winding up, we also provide that uh, assistance uh, through annual returns or variations if you want to go into diversify into another activity, uh, we also provide that service. Or if you decide to uh, wind up, uh, we also do the deregistration. Uh. So the picture is an interesting picture that I put up there because uh, coincidentally we have a lot of Canadians here and uh, the guy in the green shirt is from Canada, who was the, when, when we hosted the APEC in 2018 uh, in Papua New Guinea. Uh, as, as the investment expert group uh, chair, we had to bring him to this very venue just to introduce him to uh, what we are planning uh, for our leaders then in 2018. So maybe it's a coincidence, but uh, I think uh, it, it came the full swing uh, this time around. We do uh, inquiry admin. Uh, IPA is your first point of contact. So when you contact us, we will provide you the business advisory support, the business startup advice, and uh, if you are still in doubt or you, you have read some, uh, oh, I want to do business in Papua New Guinea, but I need to bring some people, we will provide that. We, we will uh, make the appointments for you. Uh, when you, uh, prior to you arriving in Papua New Guinea, we will secure those appointments and you will come and we'll take you to those appointments. And we will provide you transport free of charge. We also do matchmaking. I think this one is important. Uh, when you want to do uh, business in Papua New Guinea, uh, as our minister has mentioned, if you want to partner with Papua New Guineans, uh, this is what we do. Uh, give us your interest prior to you coming and we will uh, Make sure that uh, you see the appropriate uh, partners, uh, likely partners, and then uh, once you have your discussions, uh, business to business discussions, uh, we leave you at that. So, as I said, uh, we do also uh, licensing, uh, the registries that we have. Uh, we also provide uh, booklets, uh, which is uh, containing all the business licensing information in the country. Uh, uh, 
the Investment Promotion Authority as a booth uh, in this, for this forum. You can uh, visit that booth and you will obtain those uh, uh, business licensing information booklet or the investor's uh, guide. We also provide aftercare services because we understand uh, that uh, businesses, when they grow, they want to diversify. We also provide that service and introduce to uh, new opportunities uh, apart from what has been done uh, presently. Uh, and we provide uh, reinvestment advice. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, you can visit our booth and obtain these publications. These are important. The PNG Investment Guide provides you with the general information and preview into some of the key sectors to do business in Papua New Guinea. Pro and the business licensing uh, information booklet provides you the general information and the key sectorial industrial licensing requirements, the fees, and importantly, the context. So, after having said this, uh, what, what, what is the business trend like uh, at the moment? So, our figures as at uh, June of 2023 shows that uh, Australia is still the uh, biggest investor in Papua New Guinea, uh, followed by China and Malaysia. But in terms of uh, this is uh, by value. In, in terms of numbers, uh, the, the graphs change. And in what, which sectors do they come? I think there's a, it should be a, the, the biggest, uh, but there should be construction, and the uh, second biggest should be wholesale and uh, retail. So, these are the two key sectors uh, where the investments go into. Of course, we have uh, equipment, rental, agriculture, and uh, policing and security. So, as of uh, June, uh, sorry, for this uh, company registry statistics, it says at uh, October of uh, 2023, 11th October to be specific. This is after the IPA went, uh, 1st of December 2022, we launched uh, our new uh, upgraded uh, online registry system. So the online registry system uh, is now uh, helping uh, cleanse what used to be in the, the database that we own. Uh, so previously, for example, uh, in the company space, previously we had uh, 71,000 companies, just companies, registered prior to 1st of December 2022. Uh, as of the 11th of October, 60,000 have re-registered. So you re-register in order to be uh, you know, included in the current uh, uh, registry. So this, uh, this re-registration exercise will end at the end of uh, 30th of uh, November this year. So you still, if you have not uh, re-registered, please do so. You have until uh, 30th of November 2023 to do that. Uh, there's some figures on the overseas companies and the business names and business groups and uh, associations. Uh, what I wanted to demonstrate here is that uh, the on new online registry system is a, is a work in progress and is, a, is updated uh, unlike as we are speaking now. Uh, but it is used as we speak, and it can be used 24-7 uh, uh, anywhere. Uh, if you want to do your uh, registration, uh, please do that. Uh, you can also visit our booth and get more information on uh, where to uh, go in terms of navigating our website. So, in con conclusion, as the Prime Minister and the Minister for International Trade and Investment has mentioned, Papua New Guinea is open for business. Papua New Guinea will protect and guarantee all investment and welcome new investments. There are important changes that we have, uh, have occurred to make the investment environment conducive. But investors must be prepared and willing to conduct business within the confines of the laws, Papua New Guinea laws and regulations. And joint venture partnerships are encouraged uh, to involve uh, local participation, uh, in particular SMEs as well. So, 
At the end of the presentation, uh, you will have noticed that there is untapped potential for new investments in almost all the sectors of uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, you are welcome to come and do business in Papua New Guinea. If you need our contacts, uh, this is the website to visit uh, and the emails. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening.